the school board is saying that there might have been a mistake. This is a huge, huge mistake. And Taylor Santos, the student, and the mother, and the family, the community, the other students, everyone should be not just appalled, but extremely upset. They should all go to the board meeting and oppose this policy. And also, what happened to Taylor is not just physical abuse. It's not just an assault. It's also sexual assault. Maybe one reason that she got hurt so bad was the vice principal was enjoying the spanking a little too much. I find it not only unacceptable because it's physical assault, I also find it unacceptable because it is sexual assault. And sexual assault on a minor and on a student. This should have never happened. The vice principal is a career teacher and administrator. He should have known. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing was wrong, but I think he was looking forward to the spanking of a teen girl way too much. So not only should the vice principal be reprimanded, he should also be arrested. And this should not be allowed to ever happen again. If there was a girl in my neighborhood, a teenager, and her grades are terrible, or she does bad things, like she's voting for Mitt Romney, and if I took her and just started spanking her and left bruises on her that was going to be severe even two days after the spanking, it wouldn't even take that long. The police and the sheriff would be at my house in five minutes and I'd be in prison right now. Getting uh, other kinds of punishment from the other inmates. What the vice principal did was completely unacceptable. He was in a position where he could have clearly found another female administrator to administer the spanking, which shouldn't have happened anyway. But this vice principal, his actions were not only reprehensible, they're criminal. And the community needs to recognize that. Taylor's parents needs to recognize that. And there needs to be legal action, not just civil, but criminal action. I'm a tutor, so I'm aware of how students improve their grades. Spanking, I have seen one instance with a teenage boy. I had nothing to do with the spanking. It was his dad because, trust me, he was doing things a lot worse than not paying attention to schoolwork. And my advice, my policy plan for the Taylor's family is that they should sue the school district. And if they're concerned about their daughter's grades, you don't have someone spank her. I, I, out of all the students I've had, I would say only one of them really needed a spanking. And again, that's something his dad did. And it was something that I wouldn't have agreed to myself, but that's not up to me what the parents do. But Taylor doesn't look like a person that needs to be motivated in that way. Sue the school district, get a cash settlement, and then get a tutor for her. Because a good tutor can help her raise her grades and make sure it's a tutor that's not going to use spanking.